Here's how much it costs to rent a car internationally, and spoiler alert, we also got into a car accident, so stay tuned. So me and Steph went on a trip to Spain recently, and we knew that we wanted to rent a car. Before we left, we went to CAA to get an international driver's permit, which is basically a document that shows that you're qualified to drive in over 150 different countries. It costs $30, but if you need a photo taken like I did, it's $52.54. The next thing we did was book the actual rental car, and for that, we used Expedia, which got us a booking with Hertz. Now that costs us $235 for a small car. Now after that, we got the rental car insurance through Expedia. You can either do this, get it through the rental car company directly, or you can get it through your credit card. But you should confirm before booking that your credit card actually offers this perk. Anyways, this cost us $32.09. Now on the actual road trip, someone unfortunately decided to speed through a roundabout and hit the side of our front bumper. Thank God everyone was okay, but what sucked was the fact that he didn't speak English and we didn't speak Spanish. And given the damages, which were mainly on his car, the police were called who, by the way, also only spoke Spanish. Anyways, after about an hour of Google Translate, we all went our separate ways, but before returning the rental car, we had to refill the tank real quick 